Welcome back to another wonderful episode of the Bourbon Jamaican. Today we have some special things out of Buffalo Trace and uh, Brady and I are going to do a little bit of tasting. Yeah, so you guys may have heard of the new Traveler whiskey out of Buffalo Trace. It is a uh, blended whiskey. Yeah. Harlan Wheatley, the master distiller, and Chris Stapleton, the famous country artist, tried 50 different blends and chose number 40 as their favorite. So they bottled it. MSRP is $40 on it. And um, we're going to put it up against just normal Buffalo Trace, see, see how different it is. I'm curious to see what it's like considering it says blended whiskey. And it actually says on the back, proudly blended and bottled by Buffalo Trace, but it doesn't say produced or aged. So I'm curious if this has some Tennessee whiskey in it. Uh, I think that's that's the fault, <coughs> but uh, the majority of the time, Buffalo Trace, along like with Woodford Reserve, they they'll give you hints, but they won't really disclose like yeah. what they use. Yeah, there's no mash bill or age or anything right. for this. So, yeah, I'm, uh, we're just gonna have to experiment and just tell you guys our thoughts on it and how different it is from normal Buffalo Trace. Right, so on your left is normal Buffalo Trace. So normal Buffalo Trace. Travelers. So we're starting with normal Buffalo Trace. Yep. Of course, you know what this is. This is your go-to everyday kind of bourbon. Yeah, you get that oak, cherry, uh, confectionery sugar. Is that cane sugar? <laughs> I like these say confectionery sugar. Yeah, hey, like a yeah, you know, like a powdered sugar. Yeah. Yeah, and it's. I mean. It, you can definitely tell it's, it's, to me, it's very similar to Bland's and Buffalo Trace always giving me that sugary, oaky taste to them. Um, I don't get as much fruit as I do in like an Eagle Rare or a Stag, but. This always surprised me, like, after the initial sip, that's when you get the burn, like, going down. Oh, yeah, and it's nice hug. <clears throat> as much time as I had it, it surprised me every time. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see if we can tell a difference. All right, Chris Stapleton. Let's see, see. Oh my goodness! Look at the leg on that. It has great leg. It does have really nice legs. One thing I noticed immediately it coats the glass. is the is the color difference. It's a lot lighter, and you can you might be able to see it on the camera too. The Traveler is a lot mm -hmm. lighter than Buffalo Trace. You can smell a lot of the ethanol. It's. It's kind of, it's almost a little mapley to me, yeah. but the, that's that's really it. Yeah. And I'm coming off of a cold a little bit, so my my notes aren't going to be great. But I mean, it doesn't. It's not as complex as Buffalo Trace. It's going to be good on the nose. Yeah. Mm. Delicious. Surprisingly, that's. That's very unique. I'm getting almost like a, hold on. It's super mouth coating. It's very oily. It's got a, I'm trying to think what, I, it kind of, it kind of tastes like Eagle Rare a little bit. I get that oaky, grapey note. I also got a little bit of maple on the front end. Yeah. And I'm getting this like uh, so you're getting the sweet maple, but there is something else like I can't really. I'm getting it. almost like a slight graininess aftertaste. The finish to me is almost like a corn, corny, weedy. It's almost it kind of reminds me of a special reserve a little bit. Yes, that's where I was going. So it's almost like a special reserve, kind of mixed with a, a small batch EH. Yeah, E.H. Taylor kind of thing. So that, that's... it. Every time I go back to it, it gets a little bit fruitier and spicier on the nose. It's definitely got a lot of fruitiness to it. But I don't, I don't think I taste any kind of Tennessee whiskey type taste. You don't, you don't get that classic Jack no. flavor. It's definitely straight bourbon. There's whiskey. something in there that I can't tell what it is though. It, I agree, it's like a D.H. Taylor and a Weller mix, but then it's like they put a third thing in there. Man, I can't, I can't the fruit. put my finger on it's, it. It's a fruit, so it's, a, it's, it's it, I think it's that fruity. I almost, I almost want to say like Jack. 
It almost tastes like there's some Jack in it. I don't think it's Jack. I don't think it's Jack. Jack it's, has that signature, but it... But I get that charcoal mellow taste. It's not like a lot of people say minerality for George Dickel. I don't always get it, and I don't get it on this. So if there is George Dickel in this, I'd be surprised. But there's something I can't put my finger on it. I have read online too. People are speculating that maybe there's light whiskey in it. What's what I could I could see that considering most light whiskeys are ninety nine percent corn, one percent barley. I could that corniness. What was the other whiskey or bourbon that Wheatley Wheatley was over? Hmm. That might be the missing piece to this link, and I'm trying to. See. What was it? The single oak. Yeah. I'm not sure, but yeah, I mean, there's that that corn note is really throwing me off. I don't get that in anything but Floyd Drake's. I get that little weediness that makes me think that there's Weller in here. Potentially, I'm not sure. Yeah. But that corn note, I'd never get in Buffalo Trace anything, any Buffalo Trace product. It's all because most of their stuff has mainly been weeded. So Even you, then, their normal Buffalo Trace and Eagle Rare, I always get that sugary oak note. I could, it could have a splash of, of Blattens. You never know. It could. It could have a splash of Blattens. It's probably like a little experimental type deal. So going back to the Buffalo Trace, I think that they're on par with each other as far as viscosity goes. I think they both have a good mouthfeel, nothing crazy. Considering the Buffalo Trace is 27, Traveler's 40 bucks, I think they have a good mouthfeel for the price. Yeah. It's not going to be anything like a 17 year Hardens Creek or nothing like that. But the Buffalo Trace, I think, is fruitier, oakier, a little bit sweeter, where that Traveler's kind of. I think, the tra- I think the Traveler has a little bit more sweetness than the Buffalo, the regular Buffalo Trace. Yeah. I, need to, I need to get back in here and get me another. I know that one went down way. Now that I'm smelling it again, I'm getting like a mesquite charcoal kind of thing, which you normally get on a lot of Tennessee whiskey because of the, the Lincoln County process, all that charcoal filter. Because, like, if you hold it off your nose a little bit, it kind of, I get that smoky, almost like you're by a campfire. Ah, uh, you, I'm, I'm, now that you said it, it could be, when you say stuff, your mind, your yeah. taste buds start going off. So I feel, I feel like I'm sitting by a campfire. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's good. I mean, you get that fruitiness, you get that spiciness. And it's a great sipper. Like yeah. it's not overpowering. You don't get any crazy burn. Very it's, easy to drink. It's ninety proof. It's mm-hmm. definitely something as dropping nukes would say. You can invite anybody or in a beginner to sip on. Yes. And enjoy. I would even say that it drinks. It it tastes like it's a lower proof than Buffalo Trace. I don't get the hug like I do in Buffalo Trace. And Buffalo Trace, I feel a lot more, a little bit more ethanol than the Traveler. The Traveler is super easy to drink, which is another reason why I think there's Tennessee yeah. in it. Well, so I don't know. It might, might, might be their magic magic recipe, but <laughs> it's one thing we'll never know, I guess. What's in it? Hey, maybe it'll the cat will be out the bag at some point, but hopefully. With that, there you have it. We did our little piece on the Travelers. Uh, it came out yesterday. What well, was yesterday? Uh, Thursday, January 4th, 4th, 2024. Shout out to Chris Stapleton. I think you got something here, man, for real. Uh, definitely will be grabbing a bottle for myself. This is Brady's and probably just have a, a couple on hand. It definitely be a good, a good traveler's bourbon to take to family <laughs> with the the events coming up march madness all that good stuff and one last remark too is i think it's worth the 40 dollars. but my one thing that i think is very important is i would not overpay for this it <laughs> i've not seen coffee. it I've, yeah a little bit actually i've not seen it marked up um i've seen a lot of posts on facebook a local 
places getting so about that. About thirty-nine, and, forty yeah. bucks is what is the average. So with taxes yep. and everything, about forty-three bucks. Yep, and everybody's been paying, uh, charging MSRP of forty dollars for it. So that's good. But yeah, if you see this for sixty or eighty, I'd leave it because it sounds to me like it's going to be abundant, and at the same time, it's good, but it's nothing crazy. All right. Well, that being said. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoy. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, uh, drop a comment, tell us what you think about it if you've had it. Uh, yep. But that's what we think about it and pairing it up against just a regular Buffalo Trace. Uh, until next time, peace out. Thanks, guys.